Do you want to learn how to use Canva and AI to make a completely faceless YouTube video using your own custom avatar just like this? Keep watching. Yeah, pretty cool, right? I can think of a million different uses for this, all the way from making a completely faceless YouTube video to using it as like an alert on stream. Make your own custom avatar and then make him pop up and say, thanks for the subscription. Actually, that's a really good idea. I may do that. Anyway, next time you come to my stream, we may have that. Just now thought of it. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using nothing more than your AI generator of choice, mid journey or whatever the other ones are, or and using Canva. Let's let's get into it. By the way, before we dive into this video, make sure you guys are following me over on Twitch. I stream every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. We play a lot of Dungeons and Dragons, and we hang out, and we have a great time. I'd love to have you guys over there. I stream really late at night, so usually like 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. So if you're a night owl especially, come on over and hang out. And make sure you sub to this channel. We're putting out videos just like this as often as I can. I'm shooting for one a week, and I know I've been missing that goal, but we're, we're going to work hard and get them out. Okay, so now you're going to jump into um, your, your image maker of choice. Uh, I'm going to be using Midjourney today. The most important elements are that you have a, a straight on face shot. So your face looking at the camera, and this is not the easiest thing to generate in, in Midjourney, trust me. Um, but you want your face looking at the camera and you want a fully white background. Okay. Um, I've also found that it does weird things with beards. So maybe try to leave off beards. Um, but I simply generated up a gamer avatar with blue hair, white background. I didn't get too complicated. Um, here's some of what I got. This would have worked fine. This would have worked fine. And this one worked very well. So um, those are the ones I went with. Let's just try. I'll show you some of the other ones that I've tried to generate up. Um, I'm, I'm like this one I thought was really good, but I couldn't get it close enough in it and it wasn't clear enough. I meant to actually do two by three, not three by two, because I want it to be like this. Uh, and so any of these would work, but I really wanted it like a little bit more zoomed in. Like this is exactly what I was going for, but he's not looking straight at the camera, right? That's the problem. All right, so I did make these and I really like this guy right here. I love this kind of Pixar style. So let's go and upscale number four and we'll use that for the rest of this tutorial. And I'll just add something entirely new from what I did at the beginning, okay? So I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna open in browser. I don't know if it makes a difference, but I always like to open in browser. Um, and then right click, save image. And sure, I will save it here. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go on into Canva. All right, so with Canva, um, create a new design. Let's start with a video. And I will say this, guys, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that this is available completely for free uh, with Canva Free, but if it does require Canva Pro, I'll have a link down below where you can use my affiliate code and it'll get you 45 days of Canva Pro for free, okay? Uh, and even if you don't need it for this and you just wanna use it for something else, grab it, use it, see if Canva Pro is for you. Personally, I love it. Um, and, and so anyway, let's move on. First thing you're gonna do uh, with your video file created is you're gonna go right here to apps. Um, and it's right here, it's already here in the very beginning. It's called D-ID AI presenters, but just in case it's not there, just type in AI and it'll come up. So I'm gonna click there. Um, I'm going to add it. Now, if you don't already have an account, um, if you don't have an account, then you will need to sign up. And so you'll click the sign up button. It'll open you up into the DID website. Um, just create your free account and then come right back to Canva. And it should be, you should be looking at something like this. Okay, so I'll put these on so that I can actually hear. So the first thing I'm going to do um, is I'm actually going to start looking for the voice that I want to use. And let's just say uh, I'm feeling very Mr. rogers E. So I'm going to say, hello, neighbor. Right? And then we can hit preview speech. Hello, neighbor. Okay, very, very robotic, uh, but not bad. Let's say um, we want a, a slight British accent, um, and I'll go with a male. Let's go with Ryan, and we want Ryan to be cheerful, yes. Hello, neighbor. Yeah, not bad. Let's go with chat. What is chat? Hello, neighbor. Yeah, it sounds the same to me. All right, what, what, who else do we got? Let's try Elliot. Hello, neighbor. I don't recommend doing this part as something really long. I did that in the beginning. I typed out something really long, and it took me a long time to listen through like two or three voices, so I finally shortened it down to something short. Uh, what about Ethan? Hello, neighbor. Hmm, not bad. Uh, Oliver? Hello, neighbor. Eh, okay. Uh, we'll try Thomas real quick. Hello, neighbor. Okay, so I think I really liked Ryan the best. I like cheerful. Hello, neighbor. Um, let's see. What's he going to say? Uh... I just thought of th things that were really weird. Uh, brain, say something normal. Who, 
Who doesn't like turnips, right? All right, so now we're gonna click upload. Sorry, I did that really quick. Now we're gonna click upload and navigate to that image that you just made. We made this guy right here. Um, and I haven't tried this cartoon style, so we'll see if it works. Um, so far, I've tried two cartoon styles and they both worked, um, but the only difference was the beard came out a little wonky in the cartoon. Uh, so I don't recommend the beard as much. Um, so if you can do beardless, which is just sad, I know, uh, then that'll work. And I haven't tried like, um, like an animal or an orc. Oh, let's try an orc. Let me see if I can generate up an orc. We'll do a, and we'll try like an orc after this. And that'll be a test for us during this. So we'll say male orc cartoon. Uh, we'll do no glasses. We'll just try it. I have no idea if that'll get us what we want. We'll, we'll let that do its thing uh, while we generate up this. Now, keep in mind, you do have a limited amount of credits. You start off with 20 credits, and each time you generate, now to listen is free, um, but then to actually generate, uh, which is going to make your person say it and move their mouth and stuff, uh, it is one credit. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it, and then you can buy more, pri more, more credits if you use them all up and you wanna keep using this. So if you create a YouTube channel around just using uh, this, Oh, it failed to create it, so maybe this one doesn't work. I'll try one more time. Ah, oh, unfortunate. Okay. Uh, we'll go with this image that we made already. I wonder, maybe it's the coloration or something? Uh, we'll see if it works here. Which is good, because if it failed, it didn't It didn't use any of my credits. I don't know if you noticed that. It didn't use the credit when it failed. So that, that to me, is actually a good thing. So you can actually test several different ones. Um, for the sake of this video, I do know that this one works. And so I'll finish the tutorial using this one. Hello, neighbor. I like your turnips. There it is. The man likes your turnips. All right. That's a normal thing to say, guys. And it's not perfect. You can see over here in the hair and stuff that it's it's done, you know, little wonky things, but it's pretty good. I mean, I, I'm impressed with it. Uh, oh, okay. We, we've got to try this. Which one? Which one? I'm going to go. I, I just, I don't think it's going to work, but I'm going to go with number one. It, it, I think it has the best chance of working. All right. Now let's upload our orc. I just, I don't have a lot, since this one didn't work, I don't have a lot of hope that this is going to work, but hey, it's worth a shot. Can you create an orc presenter? I think that'd be cool. But you could definitely get away with like a vampire or something, I'm pretty sure. Like a vampire with just fangs, you know, still normal looking. Image upload failed. Why? Did it change the file type? Still, it's just PNG. All right, we'll see what's going on here. Unfortunate. Okay, so for, for some reason the orc isn't working. That was just a test. But hey guys, if you decide to test out like some some different kind of characters, say orc, vampire, tabaxi, stuff like that, let me know in the comments what you've been able to get work or if you find any any ways to kind of get away with doing a completely humanoid character. I'm just I'm just curious. All right, but let's finish out this video. So we have him on a white background. We probably don't want him to stay on a white background. So let's go over here. We can go to photos and find something kind of cool like uh, you know that. And you're immediately going, oh, that looks that looks bad. But don't worry, guys. Canva has you covered. Click edit video, background remover, but it is uh, Canva Pro. But hey, I still got that link in the description. I hook you guys up, all right? Check it out. We're going to hit background remover. This will take just uh, a minute or so to do its thing. Okay, and just like that, you can see the background has been removed. Uh, Canva just truly taking care of us here. You'll notice it's not perfect, so I'll show you my little workaround in just a minute. Um, so we're going to go with a video. This is the one I chose, but you could choose anything. Let's just go abstract. Um, I just wanted something that would kind of move behind, you know, something like that. that's pretty good. Pretty good. Set you up makes you a cool looking YouTuber. I like it. Okay. Let's go with this one. But okay. So what I'm going to do is type in a glow or maybe a shadow. Uh, but in particular, I want, uh, there to be like a white glow. And really I'm kind of trying to hide the hair where, where a little bit is coming out. So I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to alt and drag another one here. And maybe this one size it up just a little bit uh and then i'm going to go to position i'm going to my, go to my layers and i'm just going to put him on top just like that uh and so you know just like that i have hello neighbor i like your turnips hello neighbor i like your turnips okay so there's the video clip we need now i can actually play it here hello neighbor i like your turnips and now i can actually drag this to there so now, now it's just that one clip Hello neighbor, I like your turnips. And so I could see really easily saying like, hello neighbor, thanks for the subscription. You are an absolute rock star. You know what? You know what, guys, we got the credits. I'll burn the credits for you. Let's make it happen. Hello right. neighbor, thanks for the sub. You are an absolute rock star. There we go, just like that. 
but let's see here. So e I could easily enough use Midjourney or, or whatever uh, editor that I want to create a photorealistic image. Um, and, and let's be honest, guys. I, I don't know I, I, if you want to do this, but you could always on your on your um, on your channel you could have Jack Black yelling. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the sub. You're an absolute rock star or whatever you want, really. But just use a picture, you know, picture of Jack Black. I, he wouldn't mind. That's why I said him, not other celebrities. I don't think he'd care. Uh, but yeah, anyway, here we go. Y use this vampire or whatever you want. Photorealistic. This should, this would work absolutely fine. Main thing is make sure it's a white background. And that's so we can remove the background. Um, and make sure they're facing forward, whatever you're using. Anyway, guys, I cannot wait to see what you guys come up with. I know you all are more creative than I am. So make sure you make something amazing and send it to me. Put it in my Discord in the Share Your Art channel. I love to see what you guys make. And hey, if you have any requests for different videos, you want to learn how to make something else, leave it in the comments below. That gives me so many ideas ideas and literally almost every time someone gives me an idea for a video I make the video so if there's something you want to learn how to do or there's something you want for your particular twitch stream and you don't know how to do it in canva or anywhere else put it down below that gives me some great ideas and great content okay hey guys I appreciate you make sure you sub and I'll see you in the next one